and welcome. I'm Elizabeth Louise. In this lesson, we will outline how to set up your studio to prepare for harp lessons or harp playing. It will help you figure out the best place to put your stand, stool, and the best location for your harp within your home. Before we can begin to enjoy playing the harp, we need the necessary tools to set us up for success. Here is a list of items with links below to get us started. A harp, rent or purchase, music stand, foldable or non-foldable, adjustable stool or bench, proper lighting to see your music and harp strings, metronome, and pencils with functioning erasers, tuning key, tuner, music, and an extra set of strings, which is optional. Place your harp on a hard or semi-hard surface. If you have a fluffy rug or carpet, be careful that the harp doesn't want to tip one way or the other. I have had experience with some lever harps being a little top heavy and wanting to fall over if not placed on a hard surface. If you have it on a carpet and are still concerned, place the bench or stool behind your harp to keep it stabilized while you are not playing it. Place your harp away from direct sunlight or a drafty window. Some harps are made from natural resources, wood and gut strings. Because of this, they are sensitive to temperature changes which affect the tuning of the instrument and overall care. Place your bench or stool behind the harp, closest to the shortest strings. Place your bench at an appropriate distance from your harp so that when you lean it back on your right shoulder, it doesn't feel too heavy, nor should it feel like it is about to fall forward and away from you. This will be addressed further in how to play the harp sitting behind the harp. As you are sitting behind the harp, place the stand on the left side of the instrument. Place it as close to the instrument as possible. If your harp is in a room that doesn't offer great overhead lighting, invest in a stand light or a floor lamp with adjustable head to give you great lighting. Having to squint to see music or your strings keeps us from enjoying the music. Keep a couple pencils with functioning erasers on your music stand or close by. It is strongly suggested to use pencil. Do not use pen. Oftentimes we change a fingering or decide to put a bracket in a different place, so keep a pencil handy. If your harp didn't come with it, grab a quick tuning key and tuner. Even if you don't plan on moving the harp around a bunch, you'll still need to tune it as the temperature changes the pitch of the strings. Keep your music on your stand or nearby in an orderly fashion at all times so you can find it quickly and enjoy your practice time. Unless you are a professional harpist playing out quite a bit, there's typically no need to have an extra set of strings on hand. Besides the fact that it can get pricey, strings do end up going bad after a year or two. For the occasional player, for one who plays for the joy of it, I suggest you only purchase a replacement string when one pops or breaks. Thanks for joining me, and happy harping. Thank you.